Hey everybody, welcome back to Geek Mania with your girl Starlight and today is an especially great time for me because I'm going to be talking about something that I love, something that I think everyone should love because if you haven't heard of this, if you are not into this, what are you doing with your life? Okay, I'm obviously going to be talking about Percy Jackson. If you haven't read Percy Jackson, go ahead, you know, we can be friends until you go and get a head start on this. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the latest book in the Percy Jackson series, which is to be released. So Rick Riordan actually announced uh, Percy Jackson's book six. So this will be released on the 26th of September, which is in like, I don't know, less than two months away, which I am so excited for. So we're going to be diving into the specifics of the book, the plot and the timeline. The timeline is very specific because this isn't like a follow up to the last release Riordan verse book. It's somewhere fitted in to the middle so we're gonna get into all that before i do i want you to go ahead like the video hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that little bell so you can stay notified whenever we post a new video and without further ado let's get right into it okay so before we dive into the specifics of the storyline i want to talk about why this book was suddenly announced why after so many years did riordan decide to continue the percy jackson series well this is because do you know the percy jackson movie series the tv series is currently in um, filming and it's going to be released in 2024 so while this was going on the people over at disney right so they came over to riordan and they were like while the whole percy jackson hype is at a peak why not publish a book why not get maximum engagement and he was like hmm you know i don't want to publish a book just for the sake of publishing a book right i want to make it special i wanted to have a storyline i mean this is percy jackson and he came up with percy jackson the chalice of the gods and he went on to say this is kind of my way of thanking you thanking you for always being dedicated to the series thank you for waiting so many years just to get a better movie adaptation of the series and yeah it's really sweet i'm really excited for it if you can't tell <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to figuring out where exactly in the Percy Jackson timeline that this book fits into, it's after Heroes of Olympus, but before Trials of Apollo. So in Heroes of Olympus, when it comes to House of Hades, we kind of see Percy and Annabeth talking about moving in together in New Rome and going to college there together. So this is what this is all about, okay? College. So the scene starts out in Percy's last year in his alternative high school, and he's trying to get into the New Rome University, but it's kind of really tough because to get in, you have to get three letters of recommendation nothing less than that and these records of like recommendation letters do not have to be you know received from deans or teachers or some famous parents they have to be received from gods technically bestowed upon you from gods so how does exactly does he do this well our boy has to go on more quests yep no rest he does not get a night of sleep. He's probably screaming and crying into his pillow in frustration, just regretting his life, you know, being born as a half-blood. But luckily for us, that means more adventure, more parts of bed. But yeah. So the first quest is actually for the god Ganymede. So he is, as we know, the cupbearer to all the Olympians. And the issue here is that he lost his, you know, his signature chalice. And the problem is that any mortal or, you know, giant or titan who finds this and drinks from it will become immortal, like undefeatable immortal. So they have to find it pronto, like you can't afford to lose any time. And the worst part is that none of the other gods know that it miss it's missing. So not only do the trio have to find it fast, they can't let anyone outside the mission know that this is missing because, you know... The Olympians are a little snitches, right? They're gonna go over and they're gonna tell Zeus, like, Zeus, getting you lost the cup and, you know, let's get him kicked out, let's get a new replacement for him. But yeah, so we get to see more of our OG trio doing on quest, you know, all the drama, all the fighting, more of our favorite ship, Persephone. I cannot mention this enough, they are amazing. And the best part is when Riordan was asked how many deaths he has scheduled for this. He said zero. We're not losing anybody. It's going to be a nice, comforting tale for once, finally. And he also talked about how, you know, it's going to be in first person, obviously. So Percy's POV. And he said there's going to be a distinct change from, like, the old books to now. Because Percy is somewhat of, like, an 18-year-old now. So the tone is way different. He is way more mature, more experienced. And, you know, his biggest concern right now is getting into college, getting his life with Annabeth sort of straight, and more of just settling down which I really want to see, you know, we want to see our boy settle down and be happy for once, you know, have a little bit of peace. So yeah, you know, 2023 is shaping up to be a really big year for all the PGO fans. We have The Sun and the Star, right, the Nico D'Angelo and Will DeSalis book that is out this year. We've also got, you know, Percy Jackson and the Chalice of the Gods coming out in fall. They wrapped up filming for season one this year. And Rick also talked about how he'll probably be doing a tour 
for this book to kind of, you know, as a thank you, to connect with the fans once again. So I'm really excited for that, you know. And I want you to comment down below what your favorite Percy Jackson book is and who your favorite character is. Mine, without a doubt, Annabeth. She is literally the best. And not only that, okay, I want you to tell me who is your favorite Olympian god and who is your least favorite and why? If I was to choose a least favorite Olympian god, hmm, I think it would be Hera. I don't know, but like the Percy Jackson version of her sounds like a little, you know, spoiled brat. Obviously Zeus, because he's a more... I mean, boy's got issues, man. But like, my favorites would probably be, I guess, Hades? I, I really like Hades. I think he's a little misunderstood. But yeah, comment down below what you think it is. And you can catch me next week on Game Mania. Same time, same place, as usual, with your girl Starlight. But for now, bye everybody!